Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be exploring the new Anasora 3.2 WAN video model, and I'll show you exactly how to get it running locally on your own machine using Comfy UI. This model is a big step forward, especially if you're interested in creating animated content. It builds on the foundation of the already impressive WAN 2.2 model, but brings a noticeable increase in the quality of motion and the smoothness of characters. This makes it a fantastic tool for anyone looking to turn static images into dynamic animations, perfect for creating your own animated series or shorts. Now, I know that running these powerful models can seem a bit intimidating, especially if you're working with a lower VRAM graphics card. But don't worry, I've got you covered. I've put together a custom, all-in-one workflow for both text-to-video and image-to-video that's designed to be as efficient as possible. This setup uses the GGUF quantized version of the Anasora 3.2 model, which significantly reduces the VRAM requirement, allowing it to run on devices with as little as 6 GB of VRAM. To make things even faster, the workflow incorporates a lightweight GGUF clip model and the notable Kijai WAN 2.1 Lite 2 XV LoRa. This special LoRa model cuts down the necessary steps to as few as four in the CFG to one, which means much quicker generation times without a major hit to quality. To give you a real-world example, on my own setup with a 6GB RTX 4050 card, I'm able to generate two to three second videos at 480p in about four to five minutes. While this workflow can also handle the larger 14B Anasora 3.2 diffusion models. For this video, we'll be focusing on the manual setup of the quantized GGUF version to make sure as many of you as possible can follow along. And for my Patreon supporters, I've put together a special package that includes a one-click Windows installer along with the workflows for both the text-to-video and the image-to-video features. This will download and install everything you need to get this up and running with minimal hassle. You can find that linked over on my Patreon page. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. All right, let's get this set up. If you're going for a manual installation, the first things you'll need are a working copy of ComfyUI and the ComfyUI Manager. The Manager is a lifesaver as it makes getting the rest of the nodes for this project incredibly simple. For those of you on Windows, the easiest way to get started is by downloading the portable ComfyUI zip file from their official releases. This package comes with everything ComfyUI needs to run right out of the box. Just extract the file using something like 7-zip and you're good to go. To get the ComfyUI manager, you'll want to open up a terminal or command prompt Navigate into your ComfyUI directory, then into the custom nodes folder and from there you'll just get clone the manager's repository. Now for those using the portable Windows version there's one extra step. Navigate back to the main ComfyUI portable directory, the one that contains the Python embedded folder and run the command I'm showing on screen now. This will make sure all the necessary dependencies for the Comfy UI Manager are installed correctly within Comfy UI's own isolated Python environment. I'll have all of these commands and the repository links laid out for you in a written installation guide, which will be linked down in the description. Before we fire up ComfyUI, we still need to grab our models. We'll need the Anasora 3.2 GGUF quantized model, our efficient GGUF UMT clip model, the WAN 2.1 Lite 2 X VLoR and the VAE model. Don't worry, I'll have all the links for these in that same guide. To get the Anasora GGUF model, head over to the QuantStacks page on Hugging Face. Once you're on the page, click on the Files and Versions tab and look for the Low Noise folder. Inside, you'll see several quantized versions. From my own testing on my 6GB RTX card, I found that the 3KM GGUF model works surprisingly well despite being a smaller quant. If you have a more powerful setup, you should definitely try one of the larger quants for potentially better results. 
Next, for our clip model, we're going to City 96's UMT 5XXL encoder GGUF page on Hugging Face and grabbing the Q5KM version. This will really help cut down on VRAM usage. For the LoRa and Upscale models, I've made things a bit easier by uploading the ones you'll need, specifically the WAN 2.1 Lite 2XV LoRa, and some good upscale models to my own Hugging Face repositories. Just head to those pages and download the necessary files. We still need our VAE model, but we can grab that easily from inside the Comfy UI Manager in just a bit. Once you have everything downloaded, it's time to put the models where they belong. Go to your Comfy UI Models directory. Drag the Anasora 3.2 GGUF file into your UNet folder. The UMT Clip GGUF model goes into the Clip folder. The LoRa models go into the LoRa's folder and the Upscale model goes into the Upscale models folder. And that's it for the file placement. Now let's start ComfyUI and load in the workflow. Go ahead and download the workflow file I've linked in the description and drag it onto your ComfyUI canvas. If you see any red nodes, that just means you're missing a few custom nodes. No problem at all. Just go to the ComfyUI Manager button, click on Install Missing Nodes, and install each of the missing nodes one by one. Okay, while we're here, we can also download our WAN VAE model as well. Head into the Models Manager tab and do a quick search for WAN VAE and download the WAN 2.1 VAE model. After everything is finished downloading, click the Restart button in the Manager to complete the installation. Once it reloads, take a look at your model loader nodes. Click the drop-down arrows and make sure the correct models we just downloaded are selected. This is a good way to check that everything installed properly. If you ever want to use a full diffusion model instead of a GGUF, you can enable the diffusion model loader and disable the load GGUF on that node using the toggle lever in the fast group bypasser. But for this guide, we're sticking with our Anasora GGUF model for better performance on lower VRAM. This workflow is set up to do both text-to-video and image-to-video. To switch between them, just use the toggles in the Fast Groups Bypasser node on the left side of the workflow. You can also choose to enable or disable upscaling, but keep in mind that upscaling will add a few extra minutes to your generation time. As it is now, the workflow comes loaded with that WAN 2.1 Lite 2XV LoRa, which dramatically speeds things up by letting us use as few as 4 to 8 steps in a CFG of 1, all while keeping the quality high. I personally like to use 6 steps instead of 4, as I find those extra 2 steps make a noticeable difference in the final result without adding much time. Feel free to add your own LoRas and experiment, as this workflow should be compatible with other WAN models and LoRas. A quick tip on prompting, be as detailed as possible. These WAN models were trained on very descriptive long-form prompts, so the more detail you provide, the better the model can create an output that matches what you're imagining. With this exact setup, my generation times usually fall somewhere between 4 to 10 minutes, mostly depending on the number of frames I'm generating per video. And there you have it. That's how you can get the incredible Anasora 3.2 model running on a lower spec machine using Comfy UI. We've gone over the setup, the models and how to use the custom workflow to get some amazing animated results. I hope this guide helps you get started creating your own animations. And remember, if you want to skip the manual setup and get going even faster, I have one-click installers for this project and others available over on my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.